So far I've done the full pre-check. Pre uh, the, the aircraft is booted up properly. I'm using the Wizard today. And we're going to see how this thing performs. It says I'm connected, so now I can use my CGO3 app. I'm in angle mode. Wind is supposed to be 4 to 5 miles an hour right now. <sighs> Let's see. So what I've got is up so both cameras hopefully can see it. I got a wizard showing that and that. I'm in angle mode. So the first thing I'll do is power this sucker up. It's a brand new battery in there, should be fully charged. It's showing that it's fully charged here. And I'm gonna start recording now. Okay, now it's recording. I'm gonna set a timer on this. Start. Okay, we go back to the CGO3 app. We're gonna put this thing through a few paces here. Okay, first thing we, we're gonna take it up. And out a little bit. So we can see it better. Center it up a little bit. Too hard. Okay. This is one of the first, you can see we still have the video thing. This is one of the first problems we have with this is that it happens really quick. There is no changing the, the modes here. So, take this and put it away. Let's put it out a little bit. Watch how the thing jerks. There is no way to do that smoothly. Same thing going to the side. Jerks. And it jerks again. Back out a little bit. So the controls work fine. Now you can see we're spinning it around. Yeah, we're spinning it all the way around. Bring it back and center it up a little bit again. Now we got this thing pointed all the way forward. Okay, so now put it out just a little bit further, make sure we're seeing this thing properly. Okay. Now what I want to do is put it in, in smart mode and it should turn around. I just put it in smart mode and the aircraft is spinning around. Now we're in selfie mode. If I take it up, it should change the angle of the gimbal. Pushing on the sides, then the yaw does nothing. If I put it out, I can go sideways with it. And the aircraft should spin to stay on me. Bring it back. It's very slow in this respect. And now it's back to pointing to me. Now I'm going to hit this button again. Now I should be able to Yes, now I can control the yaw, but it's in follow me mode. I think this thing needs to be calibrated. I think that's part of the problem. I'm pushing straight forward on this.
follow me mode is working properly. All right, we are in smart. So I'm sending it out. I have no idea how far this distance is because I have no telemetry. I still have a connection. Now let me raise up my gimbal slightly and I'm going to go until I don't have a, a connection. I'm going to take it up because I want to make sure that I'm over those trees. Ah, lost the connection right there. So just going up a ways caused me to lose that connection. Bringing it back down. I still have air control over the aircraft. So let me exit and reconnect with CGO3, see if it'll do it. Nope. So I am now blind. So that is not good connection uh, on the video link. But, like I said, I still have control over the aircraft. Okay, we'll take them up a ways. Is that a plane? It's a, a quadcopter. Quadcopter? Yeah, four, four helicopter blades. Do you control it with that? Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, it is pretty expensive. The, the aircraft is about thirteen hundred dollars, and the controller is another two hundred dollars. Yeah, I, I, that's why I'm actually testing this to see how far it'll go. It should go over a thousand feet, but yeah. I can't tell if it's moving or not. I'm gonna bring the gimbal down. I'm assuming that by doing this, it'll, it'll be pointing basically down, straight down, so I can see where I am. Okay. Now I'm gonna bring the gimbal back up. This is for the recording's sake. Okay, and let's uh, bring it back. So I can see I still have control of the outer aircraft. I'm in smart mode. Still. And it's working just fine. But like I said, I, have, I can't see what I'm shooting. I have no telemetry. Uh, all I've got are light indicators on this wizard to tell me what the battery is doing. Um, I don't like this. I like to be able to control the speed of the descent, bring it down on an angle. Bring it back. So I'm doing a stair step right now. Bring this back. Take it over here a little bit. Okay. All right, yeah, let's bring it down a little bit more. Get her back close to the camera. Okay, so what I want to demonstrate is that I can't, wait, let me bring it over, whoops.
Okay, that's pretty well centered up. Now I'm gonna go up and out, but I can't do it at an angle. I have to go out, up, out, up, out, up, out. And I can move to the sides. But you, everything has to be done once, one at a time. You can't fly on a diagonal. You can't fly in three dimensions. Okay, I've just brought it down to angle mode. It's fine, just fine. Bringing it back now. Bring it down and back. But look at how herky jerky it is. Now they, we'll see on the uh, final video how the gimbal handles that. But because it's going fast, uh, it doesn't. You don't get that same reaction. You don't get the same speed of response. It takes longer. You get a delay, a lag. I'm at 11 minutes on my flight, so we're still doing good on the flight. Uh, let's see if I've got my CGO3. CGO3 application. It does look I okay. I've got my connection, and it's still recording. Although I've lost okay, yeah, 11 minutes and 43 seconds on my flight, so all oh, that's going well. Uh, I've got I'm at about 50 percent on my battery because I'm getting one beep on or one blink every couple seconds. up let's keep it lower and go out a ways and see if how long I go before I lose my connection and watch those trees down there I gotta go back up because I can't tell how far I am the gimbal down it's not yeah lost the connection I just got a buzz on my battery uh, on the aircraft battery Yeah, I got, uh, I've got my CGO3 back. It's pointing down a little bit. I'm still over the fields. I'm going out a little further. It is maintaining that connection. Yeah, that's as far as I'm going. I can see the shadows of the trees. That's good enough. Lost the connection again, so it's real spotty. I'm still bringing it back. The control of the aircraft is fine, but the video sync is what's a problem. Let me try one more thing here. I'm going to put it in smart mode. I won't be able to react to this one, so I'm going to. Yeah. I didn't like that. Okay, so I'm in smart mode. I'm going to go 
single click. Now I should be able to rotate it. Yes, I'm able to rotate it. Let's bring her back over here. I'm getting a buzz on my battery. Okay, now I'm still in smart mode. So I ought to be able to point straight forward. And that worked. Now, let's see where it goes. That's not where I pointed. So the pointing thing is not working on this aircraft. We're in smart mode. I'm going to put this back in angle for landing. I don't know if you can see on the aircraft or not. Get a little gustier out here. Bounce around a little bit. But bring it back. And we're gonna land. Stop the recording. That was 16 minutes and 48 seconds of recording.